Welcome to our fourth Turkish city, Antalya. Today is our first full day here, and so we're gonna take you on a little tour of the old city. It's a little circle with a bunch of things to do. We don't know exactly what all there is, but we have a little map mapped out. So we're gonna go check it out. Okay, let's start our tour. First thing on our tour is the bazaar, as all Turkish cities seem to have a central bazaar. So this is the antique bazaar. We're not gonna show you a ton of detail here because it's just like all the other bazaars. If you wanna see more of bazaars, check it out here. So we just walked over to the clock tower and unfortunately it is under construction. It's the last one standing out of like 80 or something. So it'd be really cool if we could see it, but oh well. Cruise here. Okay. Fister, so make this door. Okay. Practice, you make it this door. Hope you make a picture. Yeah. Yes, what's your name? Elena. Elena, yes, Aisha. <laughs> it's so quiet. I don't want to disturb the people praying and meditating. This is for Ottoman, right? Blue. The Ottoman Empire. Wow. Same like you too. Really? But it's covered, yes, it's just yes, that. Yes. Working. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Working. It's better. To name him, have for Allah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. These are the original walls that were here when the Ottoman Empire built it 500 years ago. هيا على الصلاة هيا على الصلاة هيا على الفلاح هيا على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله. so every morning little extra about this every five times so about morning yeah الصلاة هيا من النوم عربيش English better better than sleep. Okay. Every morning, it's extra little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We just went to our third stop, which was the mosque. We were wandering outside of it, and one of the guys said, do you want to come visit? You can come visit. So he takes us on this grand tour where we understood maybe two words of what he said. He was trying to teach us about Islam and was maybe trying to convert us. I don't know, he sang us a song. <laughs> so He sang us what they like ritually sing every five times a day or whatever it is. Kind of unexpected, but it was really nice. We were walking outside of a restaurant and we got a glimpse into like the scenery that it had. The guy invited us in to go upstairs and to get a panoramic shot of everything because he saw our camera. Oh my goodness, it's like a magical walkway all the way to this like castle. Oh my gosh. It actually is a castle, what the heck? Not expecting this. Oh, it's so bright. But imagine how pretty this would be during sunset. So we should come back here for dinner. Was that his plan all along? 
perhaps. Probably. <laughs> it's probably like once they see these views, they're gonna wanna come back and eat here. It is insane. There's like one boat out there. It feels like we're walking through the city and we have it all to ourselves. There's nobody here. Squeaky. View of the old port right here. Water is so clear, you can see through it even from up here. And then there's these giant pirate ships going by all the time. They just add to the magic of this whole area. So after we stopped by that restaurant to look at the views, we came to the Glass Terrace viewpoint, which is another view of the beautiful mountains and waters. This is our fourth stop in Antalya. <laughs> Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's so little and cute and soft. His brother is blind. <laughs> he wants more pets. He came back to me. Pet the blind one. Oh, he's not blind. His eye open. Well, his left eye did. His right eyes. I think they might just be crusted over. So we're walking through the old town streets right now and it's completely different from anywhere else in Turkey that we've been so far. It reminds me almost of like a Italy or Europe street cobblestone. I don't know. Very interesting and it's just kind of out of the blue. The hotels are very cute. They all look like little bed and breakfasts and they have like a courtyard in the middle. So very, very cute. AD, a Roman emperor named Hadrian came to the city and visited and they built this giant three arched gate in his name. His name is Hadrian, so this is called Hadrian's Gate. This is also the place where the Queen of Sheba was said to have passed through on her way to visit King Solomon. So it's just a very famous gate in Antalya. Just made it to the restaurant and they brought us out some bread and dips. So we're gonna eat. I was not expecting an entire fish but looks pretty good. <laughs> We're walking through the streets of Antalya at night. As most of Turkey, it is a completely different place at night. All the big cities become like nightlife hubs and there's clubs and music and bright lights and everything everywhere. A lot of big cities are like that, but everywhere in Turkey we've been is all about the nightlife. That's the end of our tour around the old city of Antalya. Stay tuned for more Antalya in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>